gonna do. Like we're gonna need to drink some Shelter Point and some Stillhead tonight. We are live. Are we live? We're live. Oh, um. Kind of yeah, we're just doing a whole darn night of giveaways. Uh, welcome, Greg Latimer. We didn't start that out very good. <laughs> oh, hold on, uh, hold on. Let me put my phone down and I'll say. Hey, hey everybody. everybody! Here we are. We got a live stream tonight, Friday night, here in British Columbia. We have one of the biggest heat waves I think we've experienced here in this province in our lifetime. Uh, yeah, in our lifetime, it's just where we are right now. It's what is it, eight thirty at night, and it's like thirty-five, almost thirty-five degrees outside right now. Yeah, we're like um, scheduled to have forty-degree weather. Like it's as hot. It's gonna be as hot here as it's gonna be in like Arizona. Phoenix, yeah, yeah it's nuts. Um, that just doesn't happen. Doesn't happen on the west coast of British Columbia. Anyways, thank you guys for joining us. This is. But a... we shouldn't complain about it. No, I because we I'm, sat I'm here. Like it, we so. sat here in the winter bitching about the winter the whole yeah. time, and it's like you find that here is like the first time the sun comes out, people are like, "Well, that's unseasonably warm and uncomfortable." Yeah, like, or, or then it gets cold. Like, oh, this weather's terrible. I just want to be in the heat. <laughs> But, you know, we're never happy. We won't we're complain. If it could be a solid 27 all the time, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Um, ton tonight, we have a good opportunity to um, read comments and talk to people. So let's just say we've got Greg Latimer. We've got Tim Dietrich. Is this real life? Exactly, Tim Dietrich. And or Tim Dietrich. just fantasy. Okay, so we're going with that. Come. Tim Dietrich, we keep messing up your numbers. Uh, we apologize for messing up your lottery numbers. Oh, does he get double? Or somebody gets double. Too. Well, he gets three numbers, but we, I kept forgetting to give him three numbers. But so anyway, like, we got him three numbers before the draw. So I think we're good there. Okay, okay. Um, Carol Smith, who's a new Dram Club member. Oh, excellent. Hello, uh, local as well. Anyone from BC do the BCLs? BCL Summer Premium Release pre-order day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or do you mean, did anyone try to do it? <laughs> so, we did do that. Uh, I had it all pulled up on my... I went to work early, had it pulled up on my screen to hit refresh right at 8 o'clock. As soon as I did that, my computer crashed. I went onto my phone. It crashed. Luckily, Clem here... Uh, <laughs> Clemmy. He got, he got in. So. Well, I had two phones on the go at the same time both on different um, uh, Wi-Fi connections mm. and one of them got through and then I like placed my order and then I was like, submit. And then just was like spinning, spinning, spinning. And I was like, submit. And it was like spinning, spinning. And then it was like, please re-authenticate yourself. And I was like, oh, ah. fuck. And then I realized like five minutes later that I had to go and select the pickup date mm. for my order. So I probably could have been about five minutes quicker. Um, I still got a few. I think so. My order Maybe. went in at eight oh seven a.m. That's um, kind of close. And what was happening is like every time I refreshed it, it was saying like, "This product is out of stock now." This product is out of stock, and like, and it was very frustrating. Like I believe it is for everyone in BC to try and do this first come first serve like online methodology. So anyway, enough about that. It was a shit show. I think everyone in BC recognizes that. Uh, what's going on, everyone? Joshua Asplin, what's up, buddy? Oh. Shit. Um, oh, you just well, highlighted just totally... it for the rest of the show. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, Paul Marco is here. Greg Latimer. What's up, buddy? Um, the Whiskey Explorer. We got to give you a shout out. Oh, fuck. Hello, hello, hello. I didn't mean to do that, but still, hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Whiskey Explorer. Jeff, the Whiskey Explorer. Um, gave us a hot tip on some more mini bottles. Oh, <laughs> so We got some good ones, too. <laughs> we did. It was deep Shawnigan Lake, just so you know, uh, Jeff. Uh, Trenny yeah. had to trek deep into like the behind the, the back, back roads. roads. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was, uh, and it came to like this little. It was some like deliverance kind of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's... There was a banjo playing. Yeah. Ding, 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 Stone ding, House made a, and like made a candy or whatever. Yeah, and so, uh, but we did get some wacky, some wild for twenty five bucks. We got some more weird as hell mini bottles old as hell that we may drink and some of them we some might. of them we just don't know no, yeah we we don't know, yeah. some weirdness in there put away at least maybe uh maybe uh whiskey explorers having a mint julep okay. oh nice um tim dietrich yeah yeah, yeah okay, what are you people yeah. drinking tonight mike casera is here steven marciniuk hey guys from kamloops oh what's up cool. buddy a local 
BC you're, boy. You're oh, heat. oh yeah, you're, you're, the heat you're getting the heat. Yeah. Um, cars and cubes complaining about the weather. That's the Canadian way. Oh yeah, Not totally. Um, just cracked open a bottle of Anioc, uh Peeth Heart. <laughs> How do you say that? Peeth Heart, maybe. Oh, Peeth Heart. <laughs> Peeth Heart. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't drank much scotch lately, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, where are we? Uh, fuck, okay. Now my numbers are spread out better. That's true. Um, that's Tim Dietrich. Ordered a bottle of the Buffalo Trace. Yeah, we put in an order for that one, too. I think your odds just doubled, Tim. Oh, Joel Gossman's here. Another Dram Clubber. DJ Beacon is here. Um... Anyway, I think uh, shout-outs galore. Um, so we've got a shout-out. Scott We're, Cashuba, Bourbon, Alberta. We might as well say this right up front, right off the bat. Um, we have coming up a double dram club. And yeah. this is the time, like right now. Yes. Well, actually, pour yourself a drink first. Yeah. And you're going to need to sit down to hear you're this. You're going to need to sit down. We have a double dram club coming up. Uh, was Is it for July? So here's the thing. August, I can't remember. So here's the thing. Trenny and C is blowing up. It's blowing up. It's huge. It's so, it's, <laughs> it's so huge. It's so huge. So we have two sponsors this month. So we had to split our Dram Club. We have Original Dram Club, and then we have the Summer Masterclass Dram Club, which there's a couple spots still left in. So if you're interested in Dram Clubbing in July, get signed up right now through our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Trenny and C. It's a and, good one. Yeah, and select the Summer um, Dram Club Masterclass. And that group is also, if you choose to stay in it, um, that that group is going to be available for August as well. So we have a July, August. We believe we have a September, September. and so then definitely be, in October. So it's like this we, could be a four month uh, in a row dram club. Opportunity. And then beyond that, like maybe this <laughs> is the new thing going forward. But I mean, you can cancel. You can cancel at any time if you don't like it. But but you never who, would. Who doesn't like? drinking along with that who doesn't ah. like okay so here's the cool thing too is that we just oh. got these six by six um boxes so now you have this nice six by six box comes in the mail every oh, month yeah. drams are tightly packaged in there the live streams we're gonna have some master distillers on the program um we have some good guests coming up for sure it's gonna be great yeah. so uh if if you have any interest in dram club now's the time because those four spots are open and um they're probably going to fill up fast, so I think you should. I think you should get in. Yeah, there. by the end of the hour, I would suggest signing up. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So, we, so, yeah, we should mention tonight is our first kind of series where we're going to be over the you know number of years coming up, being doing mass giveaways. Mass. Mass <laughs> giveaways. So, so this night, you may have noticed we don't have a guest tonight, but we do. Have plenty we of have, amazing guests. We have shit that tonight. all our guests sent to us. Okay, one one person we got to give a big shout out to, um, who hasn't shown up yet though, is Quinn Palmer. And Quinn Palmer is our buddy from um, Esquimalt Wine Company. So why don't you tell them what we've got here from Esquimalt Wine? We've, we've got the uh, Esquimalt Wine Company. This is very cool. This is the barrel aged Rosso Vermouth. Very cool. We're going to be giving this one away. Um, and this is all kind of sort of related in an interesting way. Then we have down here, we have the Esquimalt Wine Company, and it's a a, uh, a mix of different vermouths, I believe. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. And then uh, I think we have a couple of other things going on, but that's to, that's kind of to start in the vermouth um, realm of things. But what's cool is they use X barrels from uh, Stillhead Distillery, which we will be giving this bottle away tonight. And this is the Blackberry Port Finished Rye Whiskey. This is bottled at 46% alcohol. Bottle uh, 216 of 249. So very, very small batch, single barrel style. That is so cool. Then we also have, uh, I'll, I'll wait till C gets back, but there's, there's a lot of giveaways. We have some cool books. What's this one? We got the Beam Straight Up, the Bold Story of the First Family of Bourbon by Fred No. Very cool. Lots of different things like that. So um, for now, I would like you guys, pour yourself a dram. Let us know what you're drinking tonight and uh, what what we can uh, 
we, we're going to pour ourselves a drink in a second here. What we got is, again, we got the Stillhead uh, Blackberry Port Finished Rye. We also have these to give away. So that the cool thing about the Shelter Point lineup is that this is actually um, like a tasting experience from Shelter Point. Yeah. So we're, whoever wins this, is it's not just that you're getting these five um, different samples, which are... You're also getting a tasting wheel. Well, you're getting a tasting wheel as well. Um, but you're getting the whole tasting experience, which means that you'll be given the secret link. Um, it's kind of like they stole the Dram Club idea, but hey. that's fine. Um, uh, Leon, uh, Leon Webb, the distiller um, at Shelter Point, as well as um, Jacob Weeb, who is the distillery... Manager. Maybe he's the manager, yeah. uh, or maybe he's the warehouse manager. I don't know if there's a difference, but anyway, they um, they go live and they taste the artisanal single malt, and they do the Montford One Fifty One, the double barrel, which is my personal favorite, um, and then this crazy one that I never knew about, which is aged two years cast strength. I don't think that's available. Let's try it on for size okay shall and we? then the forbidden which is the 100 percent wheat so, so you're this, winning the tasting experience this aged two years one is very interesting because it is aged in x lafroid barrels that one is yeah i believe that's the one cool yeah i believe so well you are the one that did the taste trenny's already done this live tasting before there we go yeah you did it last weekend right whoop no nope. last drop um, so you did the live tasting with Shelter Point last weekend. Yes, yes I did. So fantastic yeah, was, experience, I believe. Yeah, that was it was great. It was it was nice to hear. I mean, we've had Leon on the show a few times, but it's kind of cool to have him at the distillery, uh, doing his own thing, doing his own thing, and promoting it in their own way instead of just stupid training sea antics running the show, yeah. ruining just the show. Saying I say. dumb stuff. Um, all but yeah, so it's kind of cool. So again, this is the two year. Um, I believe it's 46%. Does it go well with my... Oh, sorry. No, this is the, the cast drink one. It's my 60, lemonade truly. 61% alcohol. Very cool. Well, this lemon truly here, uh, <laughs> it's actually... Uh, I, I'm finding this like I did the last oh. time that I tried Shelter Point. Mm -hmm. There's like this distinct kind of um, aniseed, like ouzo, mm. sort of like licorice. Oh, you're getting that black licorice. But I, I know that's not the primary thing. Maybe it's just my nose these days, but I this still get it. Instantly reminded me of that, um, the Ben Romick cast strength. Oh, okay. Remember that one? Oh, the, I sure do. Uh, yep. Coral green uh, tube. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so you introduced all the products that we have. Pretty much. So I didn't go through this guy yet. And so, I didn't really go through all the books. Okay, so the root side soda mix, which you can just see right here, is like, it's crazy because it's like soda concentrate. It's like, do you want to dial back the potency of your soda? It's like, it's like cast strength soda. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, gotta, so you can make it as strong as you want or yeah, as weak as you want. Yeah, and you can like use, you've, which is kind of cool for cocktailing, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm realizing right now we've just poured ourselves... The uh, the strongest alcohol in the lineup tonight to start, which maybe isn't the way forward really, because we might burn our palates out right away. But what are you gonna do? Like it's it's thirty five degrees in this garage. I mean studio. Uh, might as well start the night right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do you know what? There's you get a little bit of that creosote kind of like medicinal barley sugar thing out of the nose as well so it's it's definitely it changes and opens up in the glass but there's something so specific to shelter point that it's hard to put my finger on it so a unique house style but i was just saying that uh we're starting the night out with a cast strength peated whiskey yeah. which is usually kind of like against the grain but i just, might as well do that i just got something a little bit kind of like chocolatey on it yep definitely there and is then like there was like a of barley chocolate there was also something a little bit citrusy like a little bit of that uh, chocolate orange kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so here's a cool thing is we've got the randomizer app, which probably should have been prepared in advance for this uh, this moment for exactly these reasons. I'm going to, or 
at least I thought I had the randomizer. I'm yeah. going to personally They're put a random. couple drops of water in this one because it oh, is sure. nice and hot. Oh. Like Rodney hour. Dalton just joined the what, Summer right Dram Club. Right now. Nice move, Rodney. Nice oh. move. You will not regret it. Well, you might regret it. No, but... you can't regret that. It's great. He no. just joined like right in a second. Don't live with regrets. No. Okay, I got to say, speaking of living with regrets, was like, I've been re-watching Trenny's Travels, which was from like a year ago. You should watch it, you guys. And the first episode, he's like, he's like, I'm going to go on this trip anyway, even though this whole coronavirus thing's happening. And, uh, you know, you can't live in a bubble. You can't just sit at home and try and, and stay up and do nothing. That's no way to live. And I was like, I think we just did that for a year and a half. Yeah, it's anyway. funny, the... Uh... Making fun of it is my first episode in that series. Yeah. And like, the sh you, you kind of eat your words by like the, the final episode where I'm literally <laughs> in a, a garage quarantining for two weeks. <laughs> it's, <laughs> you went full circle. You went full circle in like six weeks. Yeah. Um, but it's a, one of those scenarios where like the video just like, it didn't age well. Mm -hmm. It just did not age well at all. Yeah. But you, that's like one of the, I think that's the only, um, uh it's like a playlist I, I think it's the it's only amazing. playlist that we have and yeah, yeah and the, yeah. the great thing is like he starts out like that and then like the next two episodes are like him having fun and then like the final three episodes are him being like everyone's gone there's no one here i don't know should i go home I yeah and then like and it's funny because you can watch back the live streams that we did which oh, we had some classic live streams where we had to tape you taped the camera of me going live on facetime and anyways disastrous it was disastrous but like some some classics um anyway uh, any let's go to the comment section people here what, what are people people to say? people are like hey this was called nothing but uh giveaways and you haven't done any giveaways yet oh we're saving the best for last just kidding that's just a giveaway um i just gotta find the lotto numbers here hold on hold i'm gonna on. show you guys so we got again the beam straight up uh story fred no we also have the big man of Jim Beam, Booker now. And we also have, oh God, this one's a little sketch. Oh, American Still Life. Okay, so that's cool. one thing we got to confess, oh my God, I almost knocked the whole set over. One thing I got to confess, it came from Amazon this way. This book has a tear right in the corner of the front thing. Oh, you might need to tape it up. Sorry. Came from Amazon that way. I could complain, but Ray Daniel actually... No one would listen. <laughs> Ray Daniel actually made the purchase, so... Okay, so the randomizer is set 1 through 439. That means, yes, Tim Dietrich, we did get your other extra two bonus numbers in there. Um, and here's the rules. You can win up to two times... It's not going to be you can only win once. This is a you can win twice. Ooh. One thing that's going to be interesting is one of our Dram Club members who has numbers is Quinn Palmer. But Quinn Palmer also makes <laughs> yeah. this and this. So he might so pass on if that he, one. I think we're going to just... We're, well, for, well, for, for his own sake, we're going to disqualify him from winning his own products. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, we'll give him a consolation tries like like a trending seat coaster or something. Yeah. Which like, he'll, he'll absolutely true. hate, but that's fine. That's yeah, fine. It's like us winning a coaster. But he can win everything else. I, actually, he makes root, root side soda too. <laughs> but he can win everything else. Um, so let's give something away for, let's do a book. Let's do a book. Let's uh, do the ripped up book. Ripped up book. <laughs> ripped up book coming up first. So, and uh, this is signed by, we could sign no, it. We could sign it. We could put a sticker in it. Anyway. Trendy and C, let's have Trendy and C edition that the the rip back together. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll sign the inside saying saying we just devalued your book. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's so do... this is the bold story. It's a classic. Twists and turns. You haven't read it. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Uh, one through four hundred thirty nine. Randomized. It makes you laugh. Makes do, you do, do, do. Ninety seven. Ninety seven. Whoa. Let's see who the winner is. That's a good number. Can you write these down? Year. Can you write these down so I don't have oh. to go back and rewatch this? It's so hard to rewatch this. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, 97 is. Survey says. Okay, and DMCKY. DMCKY. Y. 
Oops, not dockyards. It, it autocorrected to dockyards. Right. DMCKY. That's our boy. DMCKY. A, a um, uh, Dram Club Summer Masterclass. Being uh, straight up. Member. Congratulations. You've won this brand new, slightly torn up book. No big deal. No big deal. Throw that on the ground. It's already beat up. Don't worry. I'll send that with your samples in July. Okay. Should okay, we give cool. something else away right away? I'm just actually just tasting this. Let's uh, just try this whiskey first. DMCKY. <laughs> Are you still working on that? Uh, DMC hyphen yeah. KY. I just wanted to get it in a different format. Okay. Let's see. if Is anyone else talking about anything interesting? I'm loving Canadian distillers playing with Pete. Yeah. Um, uh, two brewers recently. Very good. Yeah. So And I then the way that Andreas Fostinelli does not Pete, but Mezcal in Bareface um, 111. Yeah. It's kind of a peaty, smoky kind of and thing. And now he's, they're coming out with another series, which I won't mention quite yet. Can't give away that. But uh, it's, it. it's kind of another... It's not infused, but it's it, it's along those lines, which is kind of cool. And um, for her first whiskey of the night at sixty one percent, this shelter point's actually like oddly refreshing to me right now. I put some water in it, and it's it's going beautifully. Super scotchy though. It is. Well, it's got it's the ex Lafroig barrels, mm -hmm. so uh, two years old. It shows like it's not technically whiskey yet, I guess. Oh, but, yeah. But it's, it's kind of showing what it's going to be. That's what I said, too. A little bit medicinal. Slightly medicinal. Yeah. A little bit of citrus. Really, like, nice and malty and, like, big and cast strengthy. But it also has that, just that straight up, um, uh, straight out of shelter point. point. Kind of straight out of shelter point. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like, they, they have a certain style that is kind of unmistakable. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Uh, I'm excited to try another bare face experiment. Yeah, for sure. Bareface is great. Yes, hell yeah. Elowo, dude, I have that bottle and it's not very good. Oh, he doesn't like the 111. Uh, I think the 111 is a love it or hate it bottle. I also think like it's one of those ones that you, it's not one you have dram after dram of. Like I, I can sit down and really Correct. enjoy a dram or two yeah. and then you move on from it yeah. because it is, it is very like, it has a tequila kind of vibe to it. Totally. So if you're not in tequila, tequila, two tequila that tastes like whiskey. Tequila. Um, it's not, yeah, it's not a, um, it's not sessionable. Yeah, exactly. It's not a it's, it's a good experiment though. And along with just the regular seven-year-old, um, aged in ex-Hungarian oak. Oh, he's saying kinda... no, the Lohan McKinnon he's talking about. Sorry. Uh, okay. We're, we oh, I yet. adore 111. Oh, sorry. Okay. It's, we still... We, we still stand by those comments, nonetheless. Um, sorry, we're reading into other people's conversation. We're kind of interrupting your conversations now. That's kind of rude of us. Yeah. We're true. interrupting the comment section, which is usually better than the live stream. Okay. Um, smoke and oak. Smoke and oak tastes like smoked barbecue ribs. Yeah. Um, the smoke and oak was super interesting. Super interesting. Um, and that, sorry, that was, sorry? That was oh, the new yeah. shelter point. The yeah, one that we just reviewed. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, but that was um where the Carol Smith, who's a new Dram Club member. So obviously Dram Clubbers have that by the way. Hopefully have their samples by now. And um I don't know if is Christine Deems on yet, but she should hopefully have her bottle of old tub. Uh should be arriving any minute now. Okay, so yeah. let's um let's give something else away. Let's do let's do, let's do something from a Squimalt uh wine. Sure. Should we do the root side soda? Uh, this one here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do soda mix. Show you guys. Yeah. Move this over. Touch. Good luck. And there. So tell us this the flavors. Is what it looks like, right up front. That's cool. So we have the ginger beer mix. I love ginger beer. By we the have way. the rosehip lemonade mix. Rosehip lemonade. Okay. And tonic water mix, cardamom citrus. Um, so that's cool. Just add yeah. sparkling water. It says right there. Very cool. And Dram Club, these, this is made okay. locally by our buddy Quinn Palmer, who's a Dram Club member. He has a really cool um, setup. And you should follow them 
uh, on they're on TikTok and they're on uh, Instagram and and they're at Esquimalt Wine Co. And they show you how they make everything, which is really cool. So I'm going to just read off the back real yes. quick. Yes. Uh, each bottle makes five drinks. Just add oh. sparkling water. Mix two tablespoons of the rootside soda mix with sparkling water to taste. One to five ratio works great. Uh, rootside set out in 2015 to create cocktail and soda mixers made with whole botanicals and real juice with just a touch of sweetness. By making our sodas as concentrate, you can control how strong or light you want them to be. Right. Um, want a really spicy Moscow Mule? Just add a little extra ginger beer mix. Want to tone down the bitterness in your gin and tonic? You get the idea. So, anyways, this is very cool. Um, it's kind of like they are paired up with some of the distilleries and things like that. So it's kind of in the same realm. Uh, very cool. Let's so here we it. go. So um, who was our last winner was DMC KY. You can still win the soda mix. Everybody is still in the game. Here we go. We're going to randomize and see who gets the soda mix. Kapow. 221. <laughs> we should have like some sound effects or something. 221 is Pierre Lim. Pierre yeah. Lim. Long time patron. Pierre Lim. You got that written down? I'm writing it down. How do you spell the last name? L I M. L I M. Okay. Pierre Lim. And he won the Rootside Soda Mix. Um, so thank you, Pierre, for um, being a long time patron, keeping our channel alive when we were on life support. Um, right now we've been moved to, uh, you know, general population or whatever you, you know, what's, what's in the hospital when you're like in the worst, uh, critical care. Okay. And then what's next from that? <laughs> I don't know. What were you saying? I wasn't listening. I was saying he kept us alive when we were on life support. Oh, he was, yeah. You're like the ER person. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. whatever. Anyway, you get the point. We're not you're quite on life support anymore, but yeah, you know, we still need help. <laughs> yeah. You were a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Two MS. Something like that. Um, okay, so the other thing we wanted to say is there's still a couple of um, spots left in our Patreon um, Summer Masterclass Dram Club, which is going to run at this point, July, August, September, October probably. Um, so four months of opportunity to sign up to be, well, it's four, there's four months worth of of dram clubbing and master classes there. But uh, once those spots are gone, they're gone. So we had a pretty good list of people that said, put us on the list. We've emailed them. Some people have signed up. Some people haven't got back to us. It is a first come first serve uh, process. So if you're interested in joining dram club, this is a rare opportunity where we actually have openings. Yes, this is cool. It's cool because we're able to share the love with so much more whiskey mm -hmm. this summer, especially this summer. Like, how often do you get, uh, it's not very often a whiskey summer, I find, you know? Like, and that's the weird thing is like, normally we go like dormant during the summer. Yeah. And we're actually crazy. like ramping up during yeah. the summer. It's kind of crazy. Um, okay. So let's give something else away. How about another okay. book? We have three Jim Beam books. Like, let's, okay. I think this is like, we'll these are the for, grand prizes. Yeah, let's save that for then. So let's do, actually, this is pretty good. So you're getting three vermouths. Anyway, we have like four grand prizes. Let's do a Jim Beam book again. Which one do you want to give away? Uh, let's give the, the one big man. Little Big Let's Man? Get to little Big Man Jim Beam. <laughs> Booker No and the number one bourbon in the world. This okay. is cool. So many ups and downs. So many twists and turns. Fred No <laughs> writes in the foreword about his father. See? Right yeah. there. Legendary. Anyway, so there's a the thing about fathers, story. you know? So it's, it's very cool. We will sign it if you really want. If not, we can just... We'll, we, we'll wipe our fingerprints off if you really it's want to that we don't. But this is cool. This is the book right here. Learn everything you could ever possibly want to know about, about Jim Beam. Beam. Very cool. Okay, here we go. We are going to randomize. Let's give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. 73. Yeah, I'm gonna write this down. Holy shnikey. 73 is Paul Marco, who was here earlier. Are you still here, Paul Marco? Paul Marco. You just won the big man of Jim Beam. The big man, Jim. New York Beam. Times bestseller. 
Awesome. Wow. You really can't verify that. That is cool. The big man of Jim Beam. Marco, are you here? Marco. <laughs> Tim Dietrich. The summer of treniency. Indeed. <laughs> That's right. You guys are the Wayne Gretzky of whiskey days. <laughs> yeah. We're like the Brent Gretzky of whiskey. <laughs> Do you know that Wayne and Brent Gretzky are the highest scoring brothers in the NHL? <laughs> Wayne, Brent, like... Brent has two points. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, pretty there's some hockey trivia for you. Um, okay. Uh, they're also... I think they also need more time. <laughs> but... Okay, he's talking about something else. Anyway, Brent for the win. You got it. <laughs> what, what's the... Uh... Brent Gretzky is the Frank Stallone. Of yeah. this <laughs> you guessed it. Brent Gretzky. <laughs> That's in the army one. Okay. Yeah, um, let's uh, have another drink here. Okay. Crushers. Crushers. Crush let's do a stillhead. Okay. Let's, uh, you're right. Let's do a stillhead. <laughs> yeah, we'll just rinse this out. Actually, that was, I took a bigger mouthful there. It's quite grassy on that last. Oh, yeah. That last oh. mouthful. It's like, that's actually insanely scotchy. Like from my perspective, you would it would be impossible to not guess that blind as a scotch. Like there's only the that's shelter true. there's only the shelter point house style that might <coughs> give it away. Yeah. Yeah. Which is that like oddly medicinal citrusy <laughs> grainy note. Uh there's Where there's an it? older about oh <laughs> we're still heads were in a box. They might be under your chair. But that's a giant box of something for the future. There's another box of something for the future under there. Yeah, no, that's for the future. Future box. Future box. Mm. And that's probably still head. We've got on it? Guys, we've got so much going on. It's 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 so, so exciting. Do you know what? Let's try the blackberry pork finish, which we're giving away tonight. Let's try that. I can't read from here. See, just going to read my comments out of context all night. <laughs> it's awesome. Hey. That was rude. Oh, sorry. That was out of context. Okay. What do you got? Uh, we've got the Blackberry Port finished rye. That's the one we're giving we're away. We're giving it away. We might as well try it. Oh. So I'm right now. We've we might had, as well try it. We've had... Uh, Honestly, we haven't sat down with these bottles too, too much, but um, I think this is a good opportunity to kind of just relax and try it, you know? Well, I think our... Oh, our I like that nose instantly. Our schedule is a bit weird, right? Because, like, sometimes, sometimes we get the bottles for a dram club a month or two ahead, and we actually get into them and film the videos, like, in advance of actual dram club, and we've kind of forgotten what they're like by the yeah. time that we go totally. live with them because we're trying to like, we're trying to keep pace with what we have, like the content that we have to put out, which yeah. is like, it's a weird anomaly. It's a weird cycle that we're yeah. on. Yeah. Um, I got to say, so one thing that's very cool about Stillhead, our buddy Brennan up in the couch and Valley makes this stuff. I can't, I can't read from here. She, uh, Carol Smith, who's a dram club member who's drinking this as well says, oh. I'm liking the Stillhead Blackberry port finish. Well, uh, you can, Probably, maybe, still get a bottle of it. Yeah, um, I mean, there was and only if you're so, from BC, so well, she's from she's from like Gordon Head. Oh, yeah, you can get it easy. Well, the thing about oh, it is easy. the thing about it is this was limited. This is a single cask bottling. Yeah, well, two hundred and forty nine bottles. Yeah, yeah, two hundred and forty nine so, bottles only. Um, one thing I got to say, I was going to say a minute ago, is like with the Stillhead releases, I find it very cool that they're focusing on rye. Because they they make things in a way that you would kind of like single malt Scotch style, but they're making it with a rye. Yeah, um, they have one single malt and three ryes that have been put out so far. Yeah, and so the nose on this is pretty interesting. The blackberry port thing isn't huge on it necessarily. I think I said it in the review, and I stand by it now that there's something nutty about it. Yeah, totally. So you gotta like. Well, okay, these like are also, nutty, this nutty is nutty. aged in X Jim Beam barrels, too. What? Well, maybe not this. Let me just start. Or before the port finish. Is it Jim Beam and then the port finish? Yeah, because I believe so. Everything I, I could is, be wrong, but 
most of his whiskey right. so far, he has all these Jim Beam barrels, and then mm -hmm. they finish it off in like. There was the this one, and then what was the other one they finished it off? Well, in? there was the Hungarian oak. Well, that the single malt was Hungarian oak. Yeah, and then before that it was rye or another rye yeah, in the first release, and then too. Sneaky Pete was Lafroy. Yeah, and then this is the black. Yeah, so I'm finished. fairly but certain it's a finish. So it pro yeah, you're so probably I'm fairly right. certain it's all ex Jim Beam. That's which why it's makes so sense. nutty. Yeah. Oh, it's got that Jim Beam influence. That's a good move. It does. Like you can smell that on the nose, what you're talking about. You know what? That walnutty kind of vibe. Now that you've said it, it's actually like a super young Jim Beam or something. Yeah. Huh. No. Nope. Well, this one's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, we better give something away. All right, let's give something away. <laughs> um, let's do another. We give away this. We gave away that. Yeah. We've given away three things. We've let's given away two books. Let's move on. We've given this root side away. Let's do this one. Okay, we're going to give away the barrel aged. Rosso Vermouth. So the thing that is um, significant about this vermouth is it was actually aged in X still head barrels. So there's a there's an island connection here, right? Like the guy the fellas got together. Christine Daisy is here. My package arrived today. Yes. That's great. <laughs> Love my Canadian decorative lamp. Yeah, we sent you a decorative lamp called Old Tub. <laughs> um, so this uh, vermouth was aged in these X rye barrels. So that's the cool thing about it, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna ship this off to somebody. And so far, we've had. Sorry, I just got very distracted. Okay, we've had. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, whoa. Um, so have we had three different winners? Uh, one, two, three. Yep. Pierre Lim, and then who was the third one? Uh, I wrote it down here. It was, sorry, it was Paul Marco. Oh, right. Okay, the, Paul Marco. The big man of Jim Beam. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, so we are giving away the barrel-aged Rosso. Sorry, I'm tasting this now, too, and it's... I like that. Yeah. So That's it. So Quinn Palmer of Esquimalt Wine Company just posted that they are super low on stock of this um, this barrel aged Rosso because it's selling out, and they couldn't predict pre pandemic when they made this how much they needed. So this is like basically gone. Um, they have like two cases of it, like twenty bottles. So, so did we mention the connection? Yeah, I just did. Yeah, okay. when you were doing I nothing. Yeah, that okay, here we go. Um, Let's find out who wins. And everybody that's won so far can still win again. Yes. You can win up to two times tonight. Here we go. Kerpal. 92. I think we just did oh, it. No, we had a 97. Oh, that might be the same. 92 is DMCKY. Oh, you won again. Double winner tonight. Okay, that's your last win you're, of the night. You're out. You're eliminated. But you did get... What did you get? A book and a, a bottle? Book and a bottle. What a night for... Book and a bottle, what buddy. What a night for d -Mackey. But as you can guess, uh, he's from KY, right? Kentucky. So that's a cool thing is that we're going to be shipping. Uh, this is the Rosso, barrel-aged Rosso. Um, we're going to be shipping your Dram Club, Club samples, but you get you're going to be. a big package. And the cool thing is that somebody in, like, we always get things from Kentucky here. Yeah. But do people come from Kentucky get things from our from islands? Never. Malt? Never. That's <laughs> Never. so cool. That's very cool. We're actually Love exporting. It. <laughs> um, importer exporters <laughs> Dre and Z importer exporter business <laughs> it's like that reminds me of that Seinfeld where yeah. he's making a cover for George it's like well no say I'm an importer yeah like, he's an exporter like he said he was an importer well, this story's not adding up <laughs> importer <laughs> exporter <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, oh, sorry. you can relate anything to Seinfeld or the Simpsons that's so funny. funny having a good time hey, here. have a nose of this one more time what Stay are we like get into the nose of it no like that Jim Beam thing that, you know. Totally. Just, I'm all about it. I'm all oh, oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> for the love of Pete and whiskey. <laughs> so that's been given away. So we've got one, two, three, four. We're halfway there. Half our giveaways are gone. Did I win something? Paul Marco, you did. Paul you Marco. won the big man of Jim Beam book. Yeah, you're getting a book. You won this guy right here. Boom. Are there pictures in it? 
No, you wouldn't like uh, it. It's pictureless. <laughs> Sorry, uh, buddy. There's, oh, there's a couple. Oh, there's a middle section. Oh, there's illustrations. Of a young... Big man? <laughs> Little Booker. man? No, big man? They just call him Booker. Little big man? <laughs> ah, this is Little Booker. There's some... Uh, That's Little Book. Little Book. <laughs> Here's the thing, Paul Marco. You can still win something else, though. You can win up to two times. Um, we should also mention, which we've also mentioned several times. But we got to just we gotta keep also again, mentioning again. it. You can now sign up. For the second summer exclusive dram club master class master class so if better. you're interested in getting into our dram club this summer there's three spots left get them while the getting's good get right. them while it's hot okay 35 30. degrees <laughs> um i spilled it all over my hand and when i smell it off my hand it smells like tobacco hmm. i can see that actually there's a tobacco <laughs> aspect when i it. dab it on my neck <laughs> It's actually Keeps quite the ladies nice. away. Yeah. It smells like drunk guy. <laughs> <laughs> drunk guy. Yeah, my wife yeah. smell says I smell like drunk guy. Mm. Smell like little Booker. <laughs> you smell like little book tonight, <laughs> sweetheart. Okay. Um, should we give away this other book? Might as well. Let's yeah. do it. American okay. still like this is a book. This is, I would say, the quintessential this Jim Beam book. Yeah. This this has everything you need to know um this has some great pictures <laughs> no no there's no pictures no pictures oh there's a couple Sketches. but it's mainly of labels and stuff like that okay well you get the point Let's just go it's jim beam um we have this book we do have this book it's right down there yeah. also yeah right there see look we have this book if we can read it you can read it <laughs> So this You'll is be fine. essentially this is the the Jim Beam story, yeah, and the making of Jim Beam and all the all that good stuff. So it's pretty cool. Um, and we've got to thank our buddy Ray Daniel at Ray Daniel. Um, for those on the on the gram, uh, Ray Daniel sponsored us for Jim Beam, and he supplied all of the books tonight. Yeah. So thank you, Ray Daniel. He uh, was for our Jim Beam month last month, yes. and we didn't get a chance to give them away because these came later. Yeah, he shipped but, them off later because he was like, oh, I see you guys like the merch. Why so don't we I thought send you some merch? Uh, you know, with the Dram Club, we are, we're not going to interview the, the people this month. We're going to actually interview them late yeah, July. Yeah, so that's, okay. So but it will be super cool. So let's talk about that. Because we're going a little bit different for that one. So we have, so this month's Dram Club, which was, of course, obviously Shelter Point and, um, and Stillhead, we have a boys' night scheduled for July 24th. That's right. So our plan is that we're going to drive up island. We're going to hit up Stillhead. We're going to hang out with Brennan. We're going to go live from Stillhead. And then we're going to go live. Uh, we're going to keep going up island to Campbell River. And we're going to hit up... Um, we're going to hit up Shelter Point, Leon, and uh, possibly Jacob or whoever the hell's around there at the time. Or even nobody, and we'll just go live ourselves. But we're yeah. gonna do it from Shelter Point. We're gonna make it like that's. It's gonna be kind of like a. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's, we were just talking about Trenny's travels. We're gonna do that sort of style where we'll we travel. get to show you. I would personally love to show you, you guys, Vancouver Island in the summertime. There's so much to see. We'll do a little bit of like <laughs> well, the old. Uh, we did it on a uh, micro level when we did the. Nanaimo bar. Yeah. Um, that was, but we were stuck in a traffic jam true. most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay. We're giving away this American still life. Here we go. The only person that can't win it is DMCKY. Okay. Here we go. 369, a little deeper into Ooh, the numbers here. That's a nice number. 369, deeper into the numbers. And that is going to be <gasps> Kenneth Kennelty. <laughs> Kenneth Kennelty, I believe, won a bottle. I keep saying this, and maybe I'm wrong. I thought he was the original winner of our bottle of Weller 12-year-old. Way story. back. Way back. Yeah, that's... that. That's going back, like, three years. Wow. This is... You gotta, you gotta admit, like, this is a... This is a huge month for giveaways. This is a huge year for giveaways. 
Yeah. 2021, we've given away everything that we can. Everything that we can get our hands on. But we're going to keep doing that. And we already have this. For example, let me tell you something. This Ooh. is a box. This is a box. This box. We haven't opened it yet. We haven't opened it yet. This don't came, take it. Oh, yeah. This came from a distillery. And it's just filled with giveaways. And that's yeah. all we're going to do. We might keep a couple. Of, we're going to keep the best stuff. But we're going to give you everything else. But the reality is, that's that's how Southwest Trenny and CR <laughs> yeah. is that, for the most part, and actually, like, in reality, we yeah. give away everything that's given to us. We try. Like, yeah. in, in I'm less, just kidding. Less, we're not keeping the best stuff we're giving Unless away. there's, like, an extra bottle <laughs> that we can put away or, or something. Because in reality, what, like, here, here's here's the reality. Okay. Be, pl- give it to me straight. Give it to, me, give it to them straight. <laughs> here is last month we did Jim Beam Month. Yeah. Okay. So we were given this bottle. We dram clubbed all of this bottle, and this is what's left of it besides the opening of the bottle, the uncorking. A um, review. 30 second review and a review, real yeah. review. Yeah. You know, so you, we did a couple of reviews with the bottle. There's a smidge left. But, and there's a smidge left. The rest and, is but, all giveaway. So the, my the, point being, and we, the, share, we spread the joy. We do spread, spread the joy, but the, and the reason that we need to actually keep the, that uh, smidge that's left is because we might need to do a what's the best yeah. or a um, well a bracket <laughs> blowout or a... That's a perfect example because we kept a smidge of the original bakers that we had. Which worked out in a comparo. Which worked out because we have a smidge of this left. So yeah, now you can do the comparo. So we, if, if we keep a smidge of each bottle, then we can still use them for like... Or a whiskey of the year... Any number of like odd rando videos that like come up every couple of years or something. Anyway, um, we're on to our final three giveaways, which yeah. are this is probably the grand the prize, giveaways. and yep. then th- this or this. I mean, either one, give or take. The, the the grand. This is cool because it comes with a live tasting, and this is cool because it's a full bottle, and this is which, also yeah, awesome because it, it's three. How big are these? These are like hundred. And, these are 150 mil bottles of vermouth. Of yeah, vermouth, yeah. Okay, let's do the vermouth next because so we've got sweet vermouth, we've got um, quinoa vermouth. Whoa, really? And then we've got uh, a dry vermouth. Here, pick so, it up. Oops. So this is the vermouth. What's it have to say? Triple about? pack um, from a Squimalt Wine Company. Like I said, uh, this is the sweet vermouth. This is the quinoa, and this is the dry vermouth. So pretty cool. Like for anybody that's into cocktailing, like this is a super dope uh, prize here. And it says, "We love weird wine. We make aperitif style wines infused with botanicals, wine and mead from Vancouver Island, and spirit from Stillhead Distillery. A perfect balance between herbal, bitter, sweet, and acidity." Great over ice or with a splash of soda or root side tonic water. We enjoy these most before a good meal with great friends and lively conversation. Cheers. Quinn and Michelle, a Squimalt Wine Company. So this is our boy, uh, Quinn. Let's see if he wins his own his own stuff. I mean, yeah, that, that would be that'd be entertaining. And also, we won't give it to him. Okay. Because that would be regifting. That's true. That's true. You know, that would be regifting, and that's just rude. So here we It'd go. Be the easiest way. Yeah, I'm gonna, here, can you hold that? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. I mean, we're coming up on an hour. We got to get rid of this stuff. Four thirty-four. Wow, like we're number. deep. I like that number. We're deep. Four thirty-four. Craig Stewart, a brand new, brand new summer dram club member. Oh, really? Craig that's Stewart. awesome. Craig Stewart winning the Esquimalt Wine Company triple vermouth pack. That's a great score. Okay, we're into our our main and co-main event. I think... <laughs> co-main? <laughs> Sounds like a type of cat. It's, well, it's, U, it's UFC style, you know, oh, like yeah. our boxing, you know. Um, and I think you always got to call the big bottle the main event. Yeah, so, I'd say the, big, the bottle. Good so we're getting event. into the, the co-main event here. However... This what is very cool about these five Shelter Point whiskeys, and you've mentioned it, but you can go 
watch the live version of people unboxing this or well um i just forgot his name leon webb uh at the distillery opening these exact five bottles you can still watch it live if you want so well you can participate right well you can per you can participate but you can be there the actual you know one that i did is up live to watch also oh it's posted yes oh really yes so you can you'll be able to uh oh Craig Stewart's online. That's Yay. that's his first ever comment online. Hey, Craig. And, and it is Woot. Woot, there it is, <laughs> I believe is the song. <laughs> Something like that. I believe it's like that. Yeah. Um, so, Craig Stewart, congratulations. Awesome to... Um, finally meet you. <laughs> to finally online meet you. So... Okay. Um, I didn't get rid of that. Okay. okay. You're good. So we are on to the co-main event, which is the five sample bottles, which um, we've, been, the point. we've been tasting through them. And let's just go through the lineup again. And okay. before that, we should mention that the Summer Dram Club has three spots left. Trendy and C's <laughs> Summer Dram Club. Um, sign up today. Sign up today. Sponsor limited. Patreon.com slash Trendy and C. Uh, and you can get yourself into the Summer Dram Club. Three spots left. Hit it up. Places will go fast. Here we go. Um, okay, we've got this guy right here, which is the art artisanal single malt whiskey. This is a classic. This is like their, is. one of their mainstays in the lineup. It's like this the is, only staple. That's this is their truly, staple. Yeah. This is. I think this is one they call their breakfast whiskey. Yep. Uh, but it's forty six percent natural color, non chill filtered. They do it right. You mm -hmm. know, they they hit the nail on the head with all the things you're looking for. All the boxes. Uh, the Monfort one fifty one. This is 46%. You can still find that on shelves around here yep. if you're local. We have the double barrel, which is excellent. So stuff. can I say about the double barrel is that um, Leon Webb, who's the distiller at Shelter Point, actually has his own YouTube channel. So you should check it out. Just um, search for, I don't know if it, I can't remember if it's just under Leon Webb or if it's under it's some other way. Else, I think. Also, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, he has his own channel and he just released the video for double barrel batch number six. So yeah. I don't know what batch this one was, um, but number six is just out. So this is batch number six. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. so this is the newest batch. So that's kind of cool. So again, 47.7% natural color, non chill filter. That's a favorite too. They do it right. Always been a favorite. And then, uh, oh, this is the single malt aged two years, which we were drinking a bit which ago. Which is crazy good. 61% alcohol, aged in ex Lafroig barrels. Went down Not surprisingly quite smooth. considered a whiskey yet. It's two years old, but oh, it's very, a, it's a whiskey. Yeah, it's it, it's already it, a whiskey. Yeah. And then it's like this one, we also did a full review of, and you can watch our other videos. And this is called the Forbidden. Um, very interesting. Hundred percent wheat. I really liked that one. Yeah, very good. So very um, cool. Okay. And again, they are done in a very single malt Scotch style, but again made on vancouver island british columbia very right cool here. okay so we are so we've only had one person that's eliminated yep which is dmcky DMC one twice so let's see who takes home the co-main event tonight co-main event winner nine oh nine nike that went Number from nine top to the bottom which might be first. Number might nine be first. is carol smith new dram oh, club member welcome nice. You got some free stuff. Dram Club's paying back. See, that's the yeah, thing that's about awesome. Dram Club. Stu uh, Craig Stewart and Carol Smith instantly yep. reaping the rewards of becoming Dram Club right. members. That's right. Um, whiskey Explorer said uh, it's Whiskey Web. Uh, Leon Webb's right. um, YouTube channel. Yeah, that's whiskey right. Web. Okay, cool. Um, but cool that Carol Smith, a new, newish, she's been a Dram Club member for two months, um, takes home a win. That's tonight. great. That's really great. The nice Love thing it. about Dram Club also is that you get extra numbers. Yes. You know, the more, obviously, the more that your um, donation is, the more numbers you get. So, well, yeah, also, the other thing now, like, Carol, you get your Dram <laughs> Carol, Club. You get your Dram Club along with yeah. a whole other set. But the interesting thing about Dram Club was the Forbidden was in there. Yep. And that is all. Yeah. So she gets four Every, more others. Four of them are, are new. Close. Oh, and this phone is telling me there's 10% left, and we have six minutes left, so I think that's perfect time. Let's do it. Okay, let's, um, let's get to Should we have one more fresh dram? Okay, let's uh, have... What would you like to try? 
<laughs> I just finished my blackberry port. Uh, we should hit up a... What do we have from a weird shelter point perspective? Go. Uh, I mean, look, this look behind, no, look behind you. Look behind you. Or do you want to finish off a mini bottle? We could do a mini bottle. The collective was pretty damn good. Single cask release. 59.7%. Uh, collective? Uh, collective? Single cask triple grain. The collective. We got this Monfort one. I wouldn't try. Wouldn't mind trying the Monfort. Yeah, let's try the I don't Monfort. know that I've ever actually tried it. That's forbidden. Where is it? Keep going. It's in the back. Yes. I think the Monfort's the only one I've left in, like that I haven't, yeah, you actually, haven't tried. actually tried. It. And this is the one that I personally found was the really the Anna CD one. Oh, really? But that could have just be again. That's my palette right now. Just a moment in time. There you go. That's good. Polish it. Sure. Oh, there you go. go. Hey, so this is in this collection here, right here, the Monfort. So one Carol, you can enjoy that. Again, 46%. Um, natural color, non-chill filtered. Very cool. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, people. I'm going to get into the nose a little bit first before we... Whoa. Oh, yeah. You're right, Actually, though. actually it's, I'm like, I'm... I shouldn't say I was disliking it before, but that nose isn't as prevalent as I thought. There's like a nice sweet. There's a little like, fig Newton going on. Yeah, there's something. almost like a bourbon aspect nose to it, or like a sweetness to it. There's something like medicinal or doctor's office about it. <laughs> doctor's office waiting room. <laughs> well, you would think they have all the medicine, so that makes sense. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. A nice sweetness too. Yeah, I'm gonna mm. taste it. Okay, I've let's never try taste it. it. Mm. Nice barley sugars, a little bit of that. Like, oh, it's weird because it kind of like it gets. It doesn't get scotchy. It like gets mellow. To it me, it's mellow. Like, it's on the quite top. like we've always said this with Shelter Point. It's quite um. This one is viscous. Like, there's a a nice mouth presence to these ones. The finish is like the star mm. of the show here, mm. though. Like that's front, quite delicious, actually. The front kind of like, like, falls off, and yeah. then the finish becomes like it becomes the sizzle. and yeah. like it actually has a little bit of anesthesia. Yeah, like my I like it. I could get dental work done right now. I, I could too. Yeah. I'm not talking about the whiskey. I'm just okay. Enough. Okay. All right. Um, let's give away the grand prize of the night. Let's talk about this a little bit. Okay, so we did try it. We yeah, should we have probably drink it. We should have. We should have done it in that. line but with, with whatever. Again. We were smelling and tasting along with this um, bottle. Hold here. on. Yeah. Hold on. Carol Smith says, okay, so can I give it to someone else? I I have them all and would love to share. Carol, oh, we can redraw the number. Are you talking would you would you like us to redraw the number? We can give it to somebody else. Really? That's very, very uh that's, what I love that's about generosity our club, of that's, but this is our dram club people. This is generosity of the whiskey community. Carol, should we should we redraw, or are you just gonna give it to uh, Jeff? <laughs> Does anyone want to trade? Je well, Jeff, Jeff, like, <laughs> Jeff's like, pick me. So are you gonna like? Should no, we just redraw? We, we should redraw. redraw. Let's okay. redraw. Yeah. Or DMKY might want to trade. <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> no, no, it's not overcomplicated. Uh, Carol Smith. Who hasn't tried Shelter Point? Probably a lot of people are going to either lie to you or put their hand up. Let's redraw it. Okay. Carol, we're going to redraw it. I hope that's okay. Hope hey, that's this okay. is by her directions. Carol, we're going to redraw it. Redraw. Forever. I think there's like a 30 second delay. Carol? Carol? Car Carol? Carol? <laughs> Last chance. Um, <laughs> if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Carol, redraw. Going once, going twice. Good job, Carol. Everyone's supporting Carol in that her giving you away her, her. Carol Smith, Joel Gossman, like Ontario. Okay, no, we can't just you can't keep baiting. Here we go. We're redrawing it, Carol. You're a legend. We respect you. The community appreciates your decision. But that this is true. Like you know what? When you have We're gonna... one man's treasures, another man's wait. <laughs> opposite, opposite. Right, yeah. 
Okay, definite redraw. Okay, here we go. We're giving away. We're re-giving away. The Shelter Point variety The Shelter pack. Point variety. Because of Carol's generosity. Incredible. Legend. Whiskey legend. You just entered whiskey legend status. Here we go. Redraw. 439. Don't tell me that's Tim Dietrich. It <laughs> Is it? <laughs> 439. Tim Dietrich. Is it? Tim Dietrich. He's in Ontario. That's amazing because Tim Dietrich was like, I can't believe you guys screwed up my numbers again. Give me two more numbers. And we're like, oh, shit. We got to resend his numbers again. And 439, it was between number one and 439. That's amazing. Carol, legend. this is a legendary uh, uh, That's incredible development. Not only did we screw up his numbers, we gave him extra. So now he's finally reaping the rewards, <laughs> yeah. you know? That's and he great. only has three numbers. Yeah. So this is a, th there's people in this draw that have, uh, that have 20 numbers. Yeah. And Tim Dietrich has three. And That's now awesome. he's taking home the co-main event. So it just goes to show you that if you're not a patron, just get, all you need is, you, it only takes one number to win. It's true. Right? It's true. It's like, these are better odds than that the 649 that you're playing or oh, the Powerball like, or whatever shit you're playing. Well, like even the BC lottery where there's, you know, like only like Tim Dietrich. Then. Holy crap. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Thank you, Carol. We yes. really, really do appreciate That's it. That's fun. Awesome. Okay. This is fun. Now we're having fun, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we are over an hour. So, so let's get to, we're just going to have to shut it down now. Okay. We're not giving this yeah, away. We're great. keeping this now. Yeah. We'll keep it. Just kidding. Okay. Uh, main event. Main event. We just talked about this. Aged in uh, old you, Jim Beam barrels and you, Blackberry Port finish. You know what would be funny? Really if, cool. Is if Tim Dietrich now won this. Yeah. Or Carol. <laughs> or Carol. And she gave it away too. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This has been a crazy night. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Uh, we won't. We're wrapping yeah. it up. Yeah, we're wrapping it up. Okay. Grand prize. Steelhead Distillery. Rye whiskey. Blackberry port finish, one of only 249 bottles. It's a single cask offering. Again, non chill filtered, natural color, all the good things yeah. you expect or that you hope to expect. And you said Jim Bean barrels, but then finished in Blackberry port from Couch and Valley, right? What was the. Yes, what was, uh, Cherry Point. Cherry Point wine. Vineyards. Vineyards. Yeah. Cool. It's very cool. Very cool. So it's been a fun night. Let's wrap things up. I mean, why not have a Friday night where you just give shit away all night? So fun. Okay, here we go. And we are committed to continuing to giving shit away. We're committed to commit to you. Yes. Okay, here we go. For the win. Watch, it's 439 again. 434! Oh, my God! Where is it? 434! 434! Oh, gosh. It's going on. Oh, God. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. It's coming. Any second now, 434. 430. Craig Stewart again. What? New Dram Club member. Really? What did he get before? Did he, he get the triple vermouth pack? Okay, you're getting triple vermouth and the grand prize, the Stillhead Rye Whiskey. What a night, people. Um, we had two multiple winners, and then we had four other winners. So we had six total winners tonight taking home uh, – some really great prizes. We got to just say that the July Dram Club we have coming up is debatably like between it's, the two. Like we have two distilleries that sponsored in July, and they're fucking bangers. They're insane. Yeah, like it's. We, it's we're not going to tell you. It's a surprise because July's insanity. Like July is actually nuts. I was thinking like. Oh, we should almost try to save this for the, the winter when it's whiskey season. But do you know what? Okay. This makes you realize whiskey season is a state of mind. <laughs> whiskey, is, <laughs> whiskey season is right now. Like. Because the next one, like, we're genuinely excited about it. Yes. In fact, we're cutting this off early so we can unbox those bottles. Yeah, we have work to do. Like, we have to we're film. Excited. We have to film tonight. The rest of tonight is dead. Like, you think we're drunk now? You wait until like midnight when we go live. <laughs> then you're gonna have problems. Nothing you, to give away then. If but if you're still awake at midnight, look out. Yeah, because we'll be here. Um, but yeah, we have eight bottles that we need to unbox. We need to get. Uh, we need excited. to get some content put together. Uh, it's it's 
things are going to get weird. It's going to get weird. Cool. It's very cool. Yeah. Um, so anyway. So anyways, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, hopefully we can do this more often where it's a full night. An of hour just giving of shit just away. Giveaways. Yeah. I Super mean, cool. like I said, we have that box, like whatever month that's for. We've got that whole box of stuff. I mean, some months are lean for giveaways and, and some months, you know, we're, we're heavy. And, uh, well, hey, it used to be that we do a giveaway of a bottle every like three months or so. It's been pretty consistent this year. So yeah. we're trying to keep that up as much as possible. I got to say, I think we have one of the best pat Patreons out there. For giveaways? Yeah. And well, yeah, not for anything else, but yeah. Yeah, for we're, giveaways. We're not great <laughs> otherwise, but you know, we give a lot the of content. The is terrible, but. Okay. Um, thanks everybody who tuned in tonight. Hope you have a great weekend. Uh, stay cool if you're, yeah. uh, if you're out there in the heat and, uh, Stay safe. It's still COVID season. It's always COVID season <laughs> so, so far. <laughs> Stay safe and uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell a friend. Yeah, let's, let's add that. Let's, let's tell a friend. Tell a friend. Br bring a friend. You get bring half a, half off. Or half something. price. Yeah. yeah. Two for one. Bring a friend. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See you guys. Only a dollar all summer. Oh, we'll get sued for that.